You know, we often talk to people who are going through what we call dark nights of the souls. Well, sometimes ministries go through dark nights of the soul too. And about uh, 40 months ago, there was a very difficult patch for Crossroads and uh, I was asked if I would come in and help out on a monthly basis until such time as this difficult period was, was ended. Uh, and as you know, uh, Kathy and I have founded 12 years ago an international ministry called Visionland, which deals with orphans and widows who've been impacted by HIV and AIDS, specifically in Africa. Well, uh, I was more than uh, willing to, to help out. Uh, I've had a long relationship with Crossroads. It goes back 48 years, if you can believe it. And as you know, uh, back in the 90s, uh, I co-hosted with David Maines for about eight years. And so this certainly was not a strange context for me at all. And I felt that I could take on double duty, at least in the short term. Well, one month turned into two months, into three months. And now it's been 40 months of uh, doing some uh, interim work here. And it seems that season has, uh, has come to an end. And uh, I, uh, in many ways, will uh, really miss it. On the other hand, uh, I'm hoping that um, you know, I can stay in touch with you through various means from time to time perhaps taking an interview here and there when I'm able, and also uh, maybe guest hosting on occasion when uh, there is need for that as well. Uh, television is kind of in my bones, and I love it, and I certainly uh, don't intend to walk away from it. Uh, with Vision Led, we're dealing with uh, an exponential growth, uh, something that has really, frankly, taken me by surprise. Uh, I was just in Africa a few months, a few weeks ago, and uh, uh, there we were taking on another 4,000 orphans in a strategic partnership. And we have thousands and thousands and thousands now of, uh, of churches and uh, widows and orphans uh, that we are directly and indirectly impacting. And we have you know, such a comprehensive involvement, everything from uh, medical care to feeding programs to schooling orphans, building schools, building community centers, interacting with uh, chiefs, headmen, uh, traditional authorities, government officials, uh, and we've been declared a best practice by SADC, which is a Southern Africa development community, which is a 14 countries in Africa, and in Malawi and Zambia also have been declared best practice, and this thing just keeps ramping up. And, you know, there were those who wondered 40 months ago when I agreed to help out for whatever length of time at Crossroads, whether or not uh, vision led might suffer. Well, as it turned out, uh, it not only didn't suffer, it grew. Uh, thanks in no small part to uh, Morris' husband, Richard Brown, who is our chief operating officer, and he's done a terrific job. We've got a marvelous staff, both here and volunteer staff, in the various countries in Africa where we work. And so having said all of that, uh, I have had a lot on my plate uh, these last uh, 40 months. Uh, double duty, uh, but doing it because I really believe the scripture that says, in all your ways acknowledge him and he'll make your path straight. And there are seasons, there are times to begin, times to end, uh, times to uh, be planted, times to be harvested. And uh, I accept these um, seasons uh, as not only the will of God, but the purpose of God for, uh, for my life. I hope you do the same too for yours. But having said all of that, uh, it's been a terrific 40-month uh, run. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, Maura and I have had a lot of fun, as you know. Uh, Maura is, um, she's always there, isn't she? <laughs> and I, I just, uh, I love her like a sister. And uh, Ron and Ann, of course, I've known for many years. Ron used to be my assistant when I was president of Crossroads USA. And uh, I believe that you're in good hands. There's a new director, a new ex um, uh, CEO in uh, Don Simmons, uh, lots of new decisions being made, and uh, I trust the Lord's uh, direction in those decisions for sure. So having said all of that, uh, I, I do want to say to David Maines, who uh, is a dear friend and uh, longtime broadcasting colleague, uh, that uh, I am praying every day for your health, David, and believe that the Lord is sovereign, and as your day, so shall your strength be. And I was honored to be able to um, assist during a very critical period of Crossroads history and also uh, help uh, uh, seamlessly, I hope, uh, transition the on-air ministry through your 50th uh, anniversary. Uh, it was a very special honor for me to be involved just in that regard. So I will be uh, no longer uh, on the hosting team at Crossroads uh, at 100 Huntley Street 
but uh, I hope, uh, God willing, to be back from time to time. And there may be times when I'll be back for two and three days at a crack. So, you know, you'll feel like I haven't even gone. Uh, some of you will be happy about that. Some of you might be not so happy about that. Regardless, it's been a real joy. And thank you for your uh, loyalty and your support. And I know that you'll continue to support this ministry, a vital ministry that is so much needed right across this land.